Starting tomorrow, one of the most requested and valuable Titanic artifacts will be on display in Pigeon Forge. As Emily DeVoe tells us, the famed Hartley violin is part of a private collection now, so it's rarely seen by the public. Like a melody, the instrument encased in glass shares a story. To be able to tell the story of the band leader and his story, it's a very emotional room. Wallace Hartley directed the band aboard the Titanic, continuing to play his violin as the ship sank into the ocean. He then took that violin and he strapped it into his valise and he strapped everything to him so that when he got into the water and he had his life jacket on, he floated towards the face up. When they found his body, they did take the valise off and inside they found this violin. His prized instrument is on display at the Titanic Museum in Pigeon Forge, along with his music file and the case that held the violin when he died. Eventually the violin was passed down and it ended up in an auction house and it sold to a private collector for $1.7 million, the highest price ever paid for a Titanic artifact. So I immediately said to my curator, see if we can get that violin. It took a year of negotiations and we were able to get the violin. It's not the first time the violin has been here. It was on display once before in 2016, but only for two months. This time it'll be here until the end of the year. While a musician performs inside the exhibit when you walk in, the Hartley violin shares its own silent melody. In Pigeon Forge, Emily DeVoe, Live at 5 at 4. And if you decide to visit the Titanic, make sure you bring a mask and make a reservation online.